Russian authorities recruit 17-year-olds to replenish losses in Ukraine. Russia has been actively recruiting 17-year-olds, including from patriotic movements, to replenish the losses during the invasion of Ukraine, hoping to recruit tens of thousands through propaganda that exploits youthful maximalism. Center of National Resistance of Ukraine says that in order to restore the unprecedented losses at the front in Ukraine, the Russian authorities are actively looking for manpower, including recruiting 17-year-olds. Currently, Russia is actively recruiting members of patriotic movements, including the network of military education centers, Warrior and Unamia. Teenagers aged 17 are being actively recruited to military enlistment offices to sign a contract upon reaching the age of majority. The report says, it is noted that by playing on youthful maximalism through propaganda, the Russians hope to recruit tens of thousands of teenagers. The Center for National Resistance warns that every enemy who enters Ukrainian soil will be eliminated. As reported, the Vakovna Rada Commissioner for Human Rights, Dmitro Lubinets, said that Russia is recruiting Ukrainian children to set fire to vehicles of the armed forces of Ukraine. Since the first days of the full-scale war, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine has been publishing daily reports about the situation on the front line and the total combat losses of the enemy, which grow bigger every day. As of July 2, 2024, Russian combat losses amount to 545,090 troops, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. As of July 2, 2024, Russian tank losses in Ukraine reached 8,107 units, in addition to 15,566 lost armored personnel vehicles. Many of those were destroyed by Ukrainian defenders and left on Ukrainian land as Russian troops were retreating from the Kyiv. Kharkiv or Kherson regions destined to be turned into scrap metal. In more than 28 months of full-scale war, Ukrainian forces also managed to destroy 28 Russian warships and boats, including the infamous Moskva, the flagship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, as well as one submarine. Putin is afraid of this. German diplomats explain how to bring Russia to the negotiating table. Russian President Vladimir Putin will not sit down at the negotiating table with Ukraine until he feels a threat to his regime, in particular from the internal protest movement in Russia. To achieve this, the West must strengthen Ukraine and tighten the sanctions noose around the Kremlin, writes Deutsche Well. As the former German ambassador to Moscow and former vice president of the German Federal Intelligence Service, Rudiger von Frisch explained to the publication, at the moment, Putin is absolutely not interested in ending this war because he expects that his aggression against Ukraine will eventually be rewarded. The chairman of the Munich Security Conference and former foreign policy advisor to Chancellor Angela Merkel, Merkel, Christoph Husgen, shares the same opinion. He does not believe that negotiations with the Russian Federation will be possible in the near future. I see the only chance for peace in returning Ukraine to a position of strength in this conflict, Husgen said. At the same time, he expressed doubt that Russia will be able to be involved in the next peace summit since the Kremlin rejects the Ukrainian peace terms. Von Frisch notes that Putin will only enter into serious negotiations when his power in Russia itself is in question. Vladimir Putin has to constantly buy the approval of the population at home. He runs his country through repression, propaganda and constant bribery, Von Frisch said. While sanctions have already put the Russian economy under pressure, the Kremlin is also afraid of the unexpected, such as an uprising that could destabilize its power. Von Frisch cited two such examples from the 1980s, the protests of the mothers of Soviet soldiers against the war in Afghanistan and the mass demonstrations of the Solidarity Trade Union led by Lech Walesa that overthrew the communist system in Poland. Putin is afraid of this, and you have to lead him to this. If he comes to this conclusion, he will be ready to talk. How to achieve this? Strengthen Ukraine and introduce further sanctions against Russia, von Frisch said.